So an airplane is flying, flying horizontally at an altitude of one mile and it's passing directly over an observer. So this is just a person. I'll just draw a stick figure that way we know. And um, here's here's the plane. And so it's it's passes directly over an observer. So this is one mile. And then 45 seconds later, I don't know what's going to happen here, but they want to know uh, exactly at that point how fast is the distance between the observer and this person increasing at a given rate um, 45 seconds later. So the airplane goes oh, in 45 seconds. Oh, okay. So we're helping you out there. Five miles. Um, five miles horizontally, but the I think the key difference here is we're going to work on the, the hypotenuse portion here. So how fast is the airplane? How fast does the airplane go uh, at that point? Okay, so looking this over, it's kind of like a implicit differentiation we got here. So um, this is our one squared, and we'll use this as our x uh, plus x squared, which will be the forty-five seconds later, the five miles, and then we'll have this is equal to um, y squared, and then. Uh, Let's see here. Oh, dx dt, dx dt is equal to 400 miles an hour. So that'll become useful when we differentiate that, or the x term. And basically what, what will happen is when we take the derivative of y, we'll figure that out. So, all right, so the derivative of one, well, that just goes to zero. And then we have uh, two x dx dt is equal to two y dy dt. And the y, well, here's our y term. We want to figure out what this what the dy dt is uh, 45 seconds later. So then we plug in our dx dt. So what we end up with, we move everything over here. We get two um, x is going to be equal to five. And then our dx dt is equal to 400 miles. So I plugged in the x right here, and this is dx dt. All right, it is equal to 2. And then y y is going to be equal to, I forgot to do that, uh, so Pythagorean theorem. So we had our 1 squared for our vertical up towards the plane uh, over the observer, plus the 5 miles we traveled to 5 squared, so square root of 26. So square root of 26, this is what I'm plugging for y. And then we have um, dy dt, and this is what we're looking for. So 2 times 5 times 400 is equal to 4,000. Um, and pretty much we're just going to divide this by 2 root 26, and then we're going to get dy dt. And what we end up with approximately is... Um, 392 miles an hour and this makes sense um, the farther out the plane goes um, the faster this hypotenuse is going to get because if it's directly above it uh, the hypotenuse the hypotenuse uh, spans out a lot slower than uh, but as it keeps going farther and farther uh, the hypotenuse gets closer and closer to the horizontal distance that if you're just to take exactly how fast the, tra the plane's traveling above. So um, anyway, this is the solution. I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.